Now here's the thing. What it comes down to at the end of the day is where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, مَا جَعَلَ اللَّهُ لِرَجُلٍ مِّن قَلْبَيْنِ فِي جَوْفِهِ Allah did not put two hearts in a single chamber. Allah did not give you two hearts, He only gave you one. And if your heart, one of the benefits of this ayah, if your heart seeks ladha, if it seeks sweetness from ma'asiyah, from sin, if it seeks sweetness from sin, Allah will not let that heart find sweetness in ibadah. It's not going to find sweetness in worship. Because the heart is seeking its sweetness, its joy, from binge watching Netflix, from the gaze looking around, from listening to all sorts of things, from constantly nourishment, other than that which is pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, your heart has another master. It has another source. You're causing blockage in your own heart. And Allah only gave you one heart to feed. And we, you know, the munafiq wears two faces. ذُو الْوَجْهَيْنِ وَذُو الْقَلْبَيْنِ أَيْضًا A person who has two faces has two hearts. Or, or so he thinks he has two hearts. Right? I can feed this heart today, then I'll go to the masjid and read Qur'an and then everything will be okay. I'll listen to the khutbah and my heart will naturally awake. No, you only have one heart. You only have one heart. And where you seek the pleasure of that heart is where you're going to get it from. And it takes time. It takes time to taste halawatul iman, to taste the sweetness of faith. Adhawq, that sweetness. Al-ladha, that sweetness of ibadah, of worship. It takes time to get there. It doesn't come that quick. But at the bare minimum, you start with what? Good deeds make me happy, bad deeds make me sad. Sounds very simple, right? Qala alayhi salatu wa salam. Aw rawa abi umamat radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Abu umama says that a man asked the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Mal iman, what is faith? فَقَالَ عَلَيْهِ الصَّلَاةُ وَالسَّلَامُ إِذَا سَرَّتْكَ حَسَنَتُكَ وَسَاءَتْكَ سَيِّئَتُكَ فَأَنْتَ مُؤْمِنُ If your good deeds make you happy, and your bad deeds make you sad, you're a mu'min, you're a believer. قَالَ يَا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ وَمَا الْإِثْنِ And what is sin? Listen to the answer of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We have halal and haram, we have boundaries. But he said, إِذَا حَاكَ فِي نَفْسِكَ شَيْءٍ فَدَعْهُ Something doesn't feel right inside of you, leave it. دَعْ مَا يُرِيبُكْ إِلَى مَا لَا يُرِيبُكْ Leave that which causes you doubt for that which doesn't cause you doubt. You have a fitrah, you have something inside of you, a natural orientation, a healthy heart. This doesn't feel right, doesn't sound right. It's not resonating with me. So the Prophet said, فَدَعْهُ Leave it at that moment. So you start with this. النَّدْمُ tawbah. Regret is repentance. I don't like sinning. And I will perform al-fara'ad, the obligations. إِذَا سَرَّتْكَ حَسَنَتُكَ وَسَاءَتْكَ سَيِّئَتُكَ فَأَنْتَ مُؤْمِنُ You start with that. Good deeds give you a bare minimum of happiness. Bad deeds make you uncomfortable at the very least. And the single most effective way to diagnose your heart at that point is to look at your relationship with the Qur'an. قال عثمان رضي الله تعالى عنه لو طهرت قلوبنا لما شبعت من كلام الله عز وجل If the hearts were pure, they never become full of the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They never become full of the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now I want you to think about the physical heart. How do you know that your heart is not healthy? When you start jogging, what happens? You run out of breath. And here, spiritually, you run out of breath when you read the Qur'an. You read a couple of pages and you get tired and bored and you want to put it away. If the heart is pure, It doesn't become full. It has more breath. And what do you do when you physically want to increase your heart rate and be able to run longer? First you run half a mile until your heart becomes adjusted. Then you can run a mile. Then you can run two miles. Then you can run three miles. The same thing is true with the Qur'an. That's why Ramadan is unnatural for the one who just picks up the Qur'an and tries to read it in Ramadan. It doesn't feel right. You run out of breath quickly. Because you're not jogging on a daily basis with your heart and keeping your heart towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 